It's Sheriff Truard's office. Uh, this would have been the entrance from the other way. No, that's probably not worth anything. I know I still want to check out the first room. The first floor, actually. But since we're here already, we might as well go through the room before we go back to the first floor. Journal entry 684. Mosley, that's the name of another one of the lieutenants. Uh, you can see it on the on the map, Lieutenant Mosley. Oh, sorry. Mosley is becoming an inconvenience. Lately she has been questioning my orders and her conduct regarding the pagans borders on insubordination. She was always my best officer before. Why the sudden change? I'm going to give her one more chance to redeem herself. If she fails me again, I'll have to give the case to Hagen. He may not be as good an officer, but he is loyal and vicious. Not the sort to have any moral dilemmas with this kind of assignment. What really puzzles me is that she wants the case so ba badly. The last time I discussed it with her, I suggested she hand the case over to someone else. She assured me that she'd triple, triple, triple her efforts rather than let go of the assignment. Okay, so Lieutenant Mosley has some kind of assignment that she is adamant on doing. And she seems to have something, some conduct regarding the pagans that he didn't like. Whatever. Schedule 7 bells, stakeout 12 bells, lunch at the Shoalsgate Tavern, 1 bell. Oh, that's the time, bro. Meet with LK, meet with LZ. Appointment at Madame Volari's. Meet with LR. Mm -hmm. And something that he wrote, but then threw away. <laughs> Letter from Lieutenant Hagen. Sheriff Tuart, I must insist that you pay close attention to the activities of the Warden Affairs Division. I know how highly you regard the work and readily admit that they have shown very impressive results. However, I must point out that their arrest records indicate they have been avoiding certain wardens. Whenever evidence is presented against those wardens, it mysteriously disappears from evidence storage, even though the station guards assure me that no unauthorized evidence leaves the area. Respectfully, Lieutenant Hagen. <laughs> Sounds like Lieutenant Hagen maybe did something that did some investigations that maybe made him the target of my mission now. I'm not sure. Don't worry, the story is not going to be about uh, political intrigues. It's going to be more interesting than that. <laughs> not to say that political intrigues cannot be interesting stories, but well, I don't think it fits the Thief universe. <laughs> Okay, I'm going back now to the first floor. I should probably get rid of those torches. At least a few. probably what would have opened the secret entrance up there. I think what I did was uh, there was a little bug where I could actually activate the switch through the wall. Which shouldn't be possible, but sometimes it's it's a little bug. Who's there? Oh. Uh, no one? I didn't know it was still that bright. I thought you wouldn't see me. Okay. What's next? Just a little room with nothing. Oh, but some more water arrows. That is very useful. Because I... Well, I wouldn't say I've been, I'm, I'm running out of them, but I don't have as many as I once had anymore. That's guard post. I'm not even sure I want to go there. 
No, I want to go there. Quick. Oh my god, maybe I don't. Yeah, okay, maybe, maybe I shouldn't go there. <laughs> if I want to check this, maybe I should just, um, go the other way around. I have to go back anyway. Or, maybe I can do it. First of all... That noise. No one. Don't see me. You don't see me. Don't. What was that? Look at that. It's already much better. If I stand here. Yep. No. 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 I'm not gonna. I'm not going to waste any of these. <coughs> nice. Oh. Okay. They got a bit suspicious. I guess I would too. If, if suddenly water rained down on me while the torch gets turned off. And another water arrow, that's cool. Not a very fancy bathroom, is it? I bet they don't get paid very well. Either. Ooh. Flash bomb. Yeah, not really useful. I can't be... Oh, I, I'm not allowed to be discovered anyway. Huh, <laughs> playing cards, huh? Moss arrow. <laughs> Gives me one of these imagine what it would be like situations. Maybe some of your buddies are already sleeping, or some of you <laughs> they are still up playing cards late in the night because it's not their shift today. Maybe they're drinking, having a little drink. Some of the sleeping guys grunts and tells them to keep the noise down. I don't know. I like to imagine little things like that. I should be able to find something in here. Why? What is it? A locker room, okay. Well, let's just hope nobody's going to enter while I'm here. little items. an item. Oops. But it's just a flash bomb. Who was expecting something better? Oh, cool. 
cool. That makes it easier to access this. And we're back. You probably still remember this room. I should probably say from last time, because I'm sure I've cut at this point. Uh, so let's think. I still want to know what this is. For that, I need to go... West. So that, that way. secret path because using the stairs is um, is a bit dangerous because there's a guard watching the stairs um, where did that lead again I actually got here or not? I'm just risking running around now. There's not. And there is a balcony, but it's probably not gonna... Oh, it is. <gasps> well, that's another way inside the second floor. Nice. I like it. And look at this. We have already been here. This is pretty much where I wanted to go. This is where the, the dumbbell waiter was. Okay. Let's see. Officer's Lounge is where we are now. Lounge. So... That's the guard who's watching the stairs. One of them. Oh, key. Oh, it's the one I already have. Oh, well, whatever. It was worth trying. What? What? According to this, it's 8-5. I can't really imagine that to be true. It's probably much later. And they just didn't have another texture. Because I'm pretty sure Garrett is doing his heights. Heists late at Who's night. There? Who said that? I didn't say anything. Guess all's quiet. Yep. Someone making noise? We should be going this way. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, yeah. <gasps> that was close. 
pillows. <laughs> See, these are the stairs. And there's another guard here. So the stairs are watched by guards from both sides. And it's pretty impossible to go up there without being seen. Thanks. Waiting room. And now is he coming this way? Uh-oh. 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 This actually leads to the evidence storage, where I need to go as well, oh, and I can unlock it. But first I need to get to uh, Lieutenant Hagen's office and find some private building. been pretty slow these days between Mosley and Warden Affairs. Every thief in the city is out of business. I can't believe we used to try to stop crime by arresting the thieves by attacking the bookkeepers and fences. Crooks have nowhere to turn to. Besides, who is more anxious about staying out of jail? A criminal or some whiny pencil pusher? Huh. Anything else? Surprised I don't hear any music. Is there no music here? Or w did it yep, yep, yep. You're get bugged? Either come out quietly or get yourself hurt. Ah. I'm, I'm doing this on purpose. I just want to go down. downstairs quickly. <coughs> See that? Think we've got trouble? Thought I saw something. Oh. Someone there? Yeah. See, there's no music here either. There should be. Oh, okay. There it is. We are still unable to make a case against Madame Volari. Oh, she was mentioned before as well. Uh, by... It was in Truard's office. There was something like meeting with Volari. Her brothel seems to be perfectly le legitimate, but Lieutenant Mosley believes that there is more going on there, and so do I. The likely possibility is that they are using pillow talk to extract information from their rather aristocratic clientele. I can't believe I'm saying this in the journal, but I think that the she sheriffs are somehow involved in this. Yeah, that's what I mean. I have seen Truard enter there on more than one occasion, but is he a client or is he somehow working with them? All I know is that I am not going to say a word about this to anyone, especially Lieutenant Hagen. Mosley is the only one any of us can trust. Huh. Again, I like this um, passive storytelling, like we can already get a vague picture in our minds of, of the people living, doing their jobs daily in this, in this place, just by reading these, these nice little documents. Quick. 
Oh no. Oh no. Come on, come on, open, open. Oh. Let's see what I can use against our Lieutenant Hagen. Oh. How about Lieutenant Hagen's handkerchief? Journal entry 459. So often I hear the whispers of the men. What is the sheriff really planning? Why is he so intent on bringing down the pagans? Maybe the sheriff isn't the man I thought he was. The members of City Watch are filled with doubt. <clears throat> it is my responsibility to see to it that they ignore their doubts. Sheriff Gorman Truer is unlike any man I have ever worked for. He has ushered in a new age, and it is up to us to support him unquestioningly. <clears throat> If Sheriff Truard asked me to arrest my own family, I would without any hesitation. Hmm. Why can't Mosley see this? She always questions everything. Yeah, how dare a police officer question things, right? Why can't she just follow Truard's orders? We're not supposed to think we're supposed to follow. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the right attitude to have. A letter from Sheriff Tr He got a letter from Sheriff Truard and he threw it away. Lieutenant Hagen. I appreciate your memo regarding the Warden Affairs Division. <coughs> I have personally investigated the matter and have found no evidence to support your accusation. They have ongoing investigations on the remaining wardens and have made steady progress. They simply don't have enough of a case yet to move against them. As for the missing evidence, my search has determined that they were simply clerical errors. However, I have discovered this, that several thefts from the vault have recently occurred. These thefts are in no way linked to the Warden Affairs Division. I want you to find out who is responsible. Start making inquiries into the other divisions, but stay away from Warden Affairs. Also discuss this with no one, especially Lieutenant Mosley. Mosley's inability to handle the pagans has caused me to question her resolve. I have considered handing over the assignment to you. But given Lieutenant Mosley's excellent past record, I want to give her one more chance. Be it so ordered, Sheriff Gorman Truard. Okay. So there actually have been thefts from the evidence uh, room, which of course plays into our hands, because now we place the, uh, the um, suspicion for that on, on Lieutenant Hagen. And it's gonna be like, like what I'm trying to say is it's gonna be even more realistic because there already are thefts from the evidence room. So people are definitely going to sufficiently believe that he was indeed uh, the culprit for which we, uh, of, of the crime we are framing him for. Secure records, vault key, there we go. And some more water arrows, and moss arrows as well. This is nice. Journal entry 2234. It's getting harder to protect my garden from harm. Oh, this is, uh... Wait, whose room is this? Lieutenant Mosley's office, okay. It's getting harder to protect my garden from harm. So many plants die. No matter how hard I try to protect them, they still fall victim to the elements. No matter what anyone tells me, I will not uproot them or cut them down. I don't know what we are doing here anymore. Half the people I give orders to are people I arrested before. Hopefully the war will be over soon and the Baron will return. I don't think I can take much more of Truard's new age, as Hagen so often puts it. Huh. <laughs> Lieutenant, I instructed the mechanist Brother Arches to leave you a new key. The key will open the vault, vault as well as the secure records room in the records hall. And she also has something in her... Garbage bin. A letter from Sheriff Stewart. Lieutenant Mosley, I put you in charge of handling the pagans because you are my second in command. Until now, your record has been exemplary. I don't understand why your performance has faltered. If you do not want this case to be reassigned to Lieutenant Hagen, I suggest you double your efforts to rid the city of all pagan influence. Also, it has been brought to my attention that numerous small thefts from the evidence vault have been occurring for some time now. Fire the officer that guards the vault. The sentries can handle the security by themselves. I want you to conduct an investigation immediately. Be it so ordered. Sheriff. True art. Any secrets here? Come on, 
I mean, I found so many secrets in the last mission. Still, um, quite a pro <coughs> quite impressed by how many I found. <gasps> left. Narcotics. <clears throat> With the beer? Yeah. We can actually turn on the lights if we want. Actually, isn't anything here? I guess you can use this room to to hide. And then guard post alarm. Uh, I think the rest is fine. I should go back here. And ah, yeah, now I remember. Um, in the main office, the secret door leads here. We should go back there then. Save and load it. Because I'm still a bit surprised that the music is so quiet. such a big part of this. Sorry for it, uh, having been gone earlier. Yeah, and shit. Oh well, I have enough. Rammstein. Activity embezzling money from his business partner overseas. Threat 
His business partner has two of the city's top cleaners on retainer. Use Rammstein as a very powerful importer. By keeping him under our control, we can use him to get to larger criminal activity. Name Lady Van Vernon. Activity freq frequent adultery. Threat her husband is very jealous and easily outsmarted. If her husband discovers her infidelity, she stands to lose her comfortable lifestyle should Lord Van Vernon throw her out into the streets of Dayport. Use Lord Van Vernon owns a large number of factories. Our lady could help us cut a deal with him for weapons and armor for City Watch. I think this room belongs to the mechanists now, so we are reading stuff from them. Maintenance. The wall security can be disabled for minor repairs. Simply enter the proper code and the sentries will be shut off. Maintenance code is 4026. I should write that down. Yeah, I guess. You're right. I should, because he's now, not taking it with him. Onto the vault. So it's 4026. Not three, six. Has it been saved? Yeah. Perfect. And with that, let's go back. Let's go back to the to the mess hall. For which I need to go um this way I think. Yeah. I actually do feel sorry for the guy. So this thing is not able to see me. Oh god. Let's make another save. What is 
this. Oh, this is probably where I enter 4026. Check out the rest first. What is this? Just some... that door because there are windows over there and I'm afraid they might see me. The guards, I mean, not the windows. The guards might see me. Okay, we have the strong box. Now we need to leave Lieutenant Hagen's handkerchief in here. Good. The strong box needs to be put into his office. Quick. Where does that leave lead? I'm kind of curious. Not, ugh, not restart. Good thing I just saved. the sound of the thing with the metal face <coughs> stopping because it's not sure if it has seen something or not. So when you hear that, get into cover quickly and don't move. So these are just lots of empty, creepy rooms. you look at that? I knew there had to be something here. There had to be. Ah, a back door. What the hell? This is Warden Affairs. Have I even been here? No, I don't think so. Journal entry one two uh, one zero two two. I still can't figure out who the hell is robbing the third floor evidence vault. I mean, if it ain't us, then who the hell is it? <laughs> well, maybe it's not you, but it's definitely being done through your place. I think if there's a secret passage to to it. <coughs> All I know is that it's attracting a lot of unnecessary attention. I've told the rest of the crew to take the long way to the third floor. Hagen is already suspicious of it as it is. Even though the Shenrik will keep him off our backs, I still don't want to get on Hagen's bad side. That idiot really thinks that Truett is some kind of hero. <laughs> if he only knew 
what we know. instead of right. That would have been it. I'm pretty sure. Can I make it this way? Depends on whether or not she's gonna turn around, huh? I'll just have to try. If not, I'll have to take the long way. Oh, come on, come on. Yes. Say again? Oh god, that was... <laughs> that was very lucky. Definitely rats, of course. I mean, what else? Where's Lieutenant Higgins' office? Okay, right over there. Guards are mechanical eyes on the alarm, don't knock out or kill anyone and leave. Okay, the question now is what's the quickest way to leave? I think I know. <coughs> Who's there? No one. Who said that? No one. Swim back. Oh. Well, I guess I can do that. Oh, okay. Nice. It counts already if I just enter the tunnel. Cool. We did it. Another mission complete. And I really like this one again. As I said before, in general, I like the, the, the missions in Thief 2 because they give you a much better picture of the city and, and all its workings and, and shows you it just shows you so much of the city without just monster levels. It's really cool. And I like these uh, the way the levels are designed as well with all these intricate secret passages you can find and, and it's just it's just great. It's really cool. Total time one hour one minute. I guess this will be two episodes then. <coughs> 1,063 loot out of 1,378. 3 out of 3 pockets picked. 9 locks picked. Damage taken 2, probably when I fell down earlier. In a sense, none killed, none others killed. Iron beasts destroyed. Well, that, that sounds... Hmm, foreboding. 8 out of 9 secrets, so I just missed 1. That's cool. Okay, before we uh, <coughs> end the episode, let's have a look at what awaits us next, shall we? Seems we are dancers of wolves who smells fear and slays the coward. Seems we are dancers of man who smells gold and slays his brother. Pagan saying. Seems like the consequences of my occupation have finally caught up with me. I went to the crippled Burrick pub to meet Sammy about unloading some merchandise. The smell of ale and smoke from the place wasn't enough to cover up the stench of an ambush. A couple of watch officers were there waiting for me. Judging by the look on Sammy's face, I'd say he sold me out. They didn't seem interested in bringing me in either. The bluecoats were looking for swift justice. Fortunately, I always have an ace up my sleeve. 
I better get back to my place fast and try to figure out what to do next. I just have to get past these guys and the rest of the city's finest out on patrol. Okay. <coughs> Ambush. Garrett has been ambushed. Escape the ambush and return to your home in the northwest. Man, I'm really excited to see this. I'm excited to see Garrett's home. Aren't you? Imagine, we've been playing the guy for a while now and we have never seen his home. I would imagine he constantly changes it anyway. But still, I'm excited to see his current home. Which, considering that he has been ambushed and seems to be a target, might not stay his home. I don't know. I... I don't even remember if this is the mission I think it is, but I am interested. I'm very interested and intrigued, and I really would like to know what is going to wait for us here. Especially because there are just these two uh, objectives that's probably... Probably that means that some things are gonna happen and we are gonna get new objectives. Uh, I'm curious, and I hope you are too. See you next time when we play Ambush. Thanks for watching.